Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how I make one of my favorite raw food dishes. It's raw butternut squash fettuccine alfredo. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. Hey, I think I got pretty much most of the ingredients lined up. I've got a couple of special things. The nice thing about this style of cooking is you can really um, substitute and, and customize all kind of recipes. Matter of fact, I saw this video on a YouTube video from somebody who was doing it in Hawaii and I sort of like made my own variation on it. So let's go from left to right here just to progress here. Um, I have a bag of walnuts which I'll explain in a moment, but I, I finally found some organic aloe fronds. I've been looking for them forever. Some of the chain grocery stores have them but they're they're GMO they're not 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 only are they conventional but they're GMO and as far as I know because they start with a three but these are these start with a nine I'm very happy found these I actually found these uh, kind of far from where I stay but uh, I'm so glad I did I stocked up on them so I'm gonna use I had one I've been using I'm trying to find different ways to use this uh, so I've cut this little piece off here and I'll share with you real quick how to fillet that um, you can eat a little bit of the skin, the green part, but it's advised not to eat too much of that. And, and like only in like a smoothie where it would be ground up really good so you wouldn't really be able to notice it. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of aloe in the uh, Alfredo sauce. I'm also going to put a little bit of bee pollen, a little cayenne pepper. Um, and then also in the sauce, I'll put about a quarter of a red onion, a little cucumber just to, to be the source of sort of like water. I'm gonna put that little piece of aloe vera filet in there, just the gel filet, and the juice of one lemon. Uh, I have some dry spices here on the left there, that dark green powder stuff is like, uh, that you see there's dill, and on the right I've got a spice blend, there's nettles, thyme, a couple other uh, common green herbs there. So that's gonna be like a dry spice that's going in the uh, So those dry spices will go in the Alfredo sauce as well. I've got a cup of walnuts here. I didn't have time to soak them, but usually I would soak them for at least four hours. Uh, it just makes them, it just makes the recipes that use them and everything better and they're much healthier. Uh, it gets rid of some of those, uh, those uh, nutrient blocker molecules. Um, that's my little scrap plate where I'm going to put everything. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil in the Alfredo sauce some apple cider vinegar, and some brag cocoa mayonnaise. All right, so that's it for the ingredients. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I found these butternut squash at a farmer's market, the little baby versions, but they're they're completely mature, I believe. Uh, one of these is like perfect for a single serving. It makes a nice size raw salad for a raw food uh, meal. So what I've started to do is start, I've started to just peel the skin. Now, butternut, butternut squash is, is one of the... Um, that I know of, it's the only winter squash that the peel is actually edible, so you can eat the peel, but for this raw food dish, uh, the peel is not advisable. Um, now, if you were going to steam this, I would leave the peel on, but like I'm on raw, I, in the raw food uh, meals now, so I'm going to actually just peel. So you want to get a good peeler. And you just come down like that. Just, you don't have to take off much at a time. And I sort of peel as I go. It's okay if you see some of that white stuff there. Just so you, this is kind of tough and you would, this is not really desirable because we're trying to mimic pasta with this. I've got a good place to start from top to bottom. And um, so you just basically go down like that. Not trying not to get thick, just as thin as possible. It doesn't matter about the width. And. Um, Basically, I'm going to do this whole thing, and the ends, I'm going to cut off the tough parts, and um, I'm going to sort of like roughly dice those up. So this is what you're getting here. Um, they're very soft, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put them in this bowl right there. And um, when I get done, when I get done with all of the squash uh, noodles, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, coconut oil on there, you know, melted coconut oil. Um, 
and a little bit of salt, sole salt, liquid sole salt, sort of massage that in. They're really soft right now. The key is to have a really good peeler that can get the real nice uh, uh, thin slices. You don't really want thick coarse. You want good and thin like that. So uh, that's how we go. So that's what I'm I'm doing now. I'm just making the Alfredo noodles. I can get real fast if I didn't have to stop and narrate. But so you so you can see what I'm doing there. And then once I get kind of close to the seed pod there, I'd peel the next section and do the same and just work my way around. And soon I'll be left with pretty much the both the ends. And then you'll you'll have a seed pocket right there. Okay, so let me do that. I'll be right back. Boys. So you see, this can go pretty fast. If you pretty used to make this meal, you could have all of this done within 30 minutes easy. Really nice raw meal. The lighter you pressure you apply, the usually the more thinner uh, Alfredo noodle you'll get. Okay, that's sort of what I'm I'm left with after making all the noodles. I can go a little more, but it's kind of really getting soft. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the most tender parts around the seed pod, get the seeds out of there. And I'm going to uh, really cut this up real thin there, sort of make like smaller noodles out of that. And here's what I got so far from the from the shreds here. So you can see that's a pretty good bit. And I'm going to put, once, once I get everything in the bowl, all the squash in the bowl, I'll put a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of sole salt, sort of massage that in. And that's going to make it even a little tender. Okay, I basically cut the bottom off, very thin piece, and the, and the top. And the and, um, these pieces right here, I'm going to dice up real small. And these are the soft pieces that house the seed seed uh, area. So I'm going to just slice that up real thin and put it in with the other noodles. All the squash done. Before I start the dressing, I'm just going to pour just a little bit, like just drizzle a little bit of coconut oil off the top of this jar of coconut butter. Just a little bit like that. Because um, I am going to have some fats in the uh, dressing. And now I'm going to take about a teaspoon of liquid salt. This is just liquid Himalayan sole salt. I have that on a prior video. I'm about, about a teaspoon of that, which is actually only a quarter teaspoon, so I'm going to go put two of those in and now I'm just gonna both hands just sort of just sort of like how you would do kale and I, I so this is an entire little butternut squash minus the ends so you can see that's enough for a good meal and um, wish I had some raw croutons to go with this or something <laughs> now I'm gonna start on the dressing I'm probably gonna go with about three quarters of a cup this time that I just there we go. And um, all right, so you put the dry ingredients in the bottom. Then what I like to do is put on that is I've got a quarter of a red onion here. I'm just going to take the outer peel off. And then I'm just going to chop that up and put it right on there. Okay, so we're going to put that quarter of a red onion right on top of the walnuts. Okay, there's a lot of water in these onions, so that'll help blend everything up. We can go ahead and throw these dry spices in. Like um, I'm gonna put this aloe in there. So what the aloe is, basically you cut off a size part that you want, and you go down. I don't know if you can see this, but you basically trim the like about an eighth to about a quarter of an inch off down this thing to get these little edges off on both sides. So I'll do that and I'll show you. So that's what it looks like. It's a small end, the large end. Um, I cut from this end, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a fresh end. But see, that's what it looks like. That's a fresh cut. There's like a see-through part I cut off all right so now I'm just gonna go down one edge one edge cut those little rough spots off and it and it looks like that do the same to the other side not quite close enough there 
the more space you get on the edges, the easier it is to fillet. See how that is compared to that. I'm going to make that other one, this one, a little bit wider. All right, so let's throw these scraps over here. So that's what I'm looking like. And I basically got to fillet these little green uh, skins off of there. So the more you do this, the easier it will get. I usually like to start start with the flat side up. And you just, just patiently work around. Be very careful because if you are not paying attention, just try to get as much of the slab off the skin. Now you can take a spoon and scrape to get more off there. But I got that pretty close. I mean, there's not much gel left on there. All right, so now flip this over. On top of the piece you cut off, and I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. Very the, the curved end is a little bit harder. It's got to go a little bit slower. You really just work your way patiently around, and uh, it's okay if you leave a little bit of the green. But on a dish like this, you don't want to leave too much. I'm just gonna scrape a little bit of that gel right there. Okay, and so there's your little gel slab. And see, I can just throw that right in there. That's going to fully liquefy. It's a lot of water. There's a lot of nutrients. Aloe is a miracle plant. It's, it's got like over 200 beneficial compounds in it. It's a, it's, it's definitely a healing survival food. Uh, the more I learned about aloe, the more I'm amazed. Cross here and just chop them up. And we'll see where we're at. We might just end up adding some of these. All right, so let's see how that fills it up. I'm putting that on top of the yellow. Yep, I think I'll do that. So I'm going to use half of that piece in this dressing here. I mean, in the yeah, in the Alfredo sauce. I mean, in the pasta. These will go in the pasta. Just be like a Primavera al uh, uh, fettuccine Alfredo. Right? Yeah. All right. So now let's finish off adding this. So I'm going to add just a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. I like that. It's kind of hot. This is high powered 90 90,000 heat unit I think cayenne. So just right at a quarter teaspoon. And the bee pollen I'm going to add a this is going to add a lot of nice minerals and enzymes. Um, I'm going to add a, a tablespoon of the bee pollen. Add a little mild sweetness. Okay. Now I have put Um, I'm going to add a tablespoon of the sole. Now the sole is only 25. The liquid salt is only 25% salt. So we got, we got our salt. I'm going to add a tablespoon of the coconut aminos. So let's add that first. This is not that salty. It's, 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 it's got a real nice little subtle sweetness to it. Okay, so we got a coconut aminos in there. Our soy salt. I'm just going to do a couple of teaspoons of the apple cider vinegar because we are going to be adding that juice of one lemon. And what you can do is if this is too sharp for you at the end, you can like chop up like in a food processor or even one of these cups in you chop up a few of the walnuts and make it sort of like uh, add add make a make a variation in the texture because see the salsa would be, these would be like sort of like meat or whatever just chop those up a little bit in a food processor and then put them on top of the sauce all right so we've got all of our liquid i'm just going to hit this with a little coconut oil okay bee pollen and the lemon juice juice of one lemon okay I'm gonna add a few more pieces of this cucumber all right so now we are ready to blend I'm gonna blend this in the high-speed blender I've got my little cap here smoothie cap uh, blender and now let's see let's check the liquid content think it needs a little liquid. I'm going to put a little bit of cold spring water in there. Let's see. Usually want the water to come up, the liquid to come up about halfway okay. Spice ingredient that I, that I forgot. I have some sort of freshly uh, ground fenugreek 
seeds here into a powder. Um, this is good for uh, detoxification. It helps rid uh, mucus out of the body. I'm going to put, I don't want to overpower it, so I'm just going to put a teaspoon. Okay, you can see where the water comes up to about right there. That's about what you want. Um, I'm, I'm off to blend. Okay, I think this is blended good. Um, you probably would not need all of this. Um, ah, that's a nice sauce. But you want to get it out of this plastic as soon as possible. I've got a Pyrex. Okay, so now that, that you can use, uh, I can use this tomorrow in something. All right, so I'm gonna just put that in the refrigerator. And give this a toss, let me taste this sauce. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so let me put this in the fridge. Oh, that's rolling, that cayenne amount was just right. All right, so, so this is what it looks like in the bowl. You can see it's sort of a thin consistency, but let me, I'm going to toss it with a dinner fork and um, a tablespoon. Alright, so I'm basically just going to toss it. Now you could add, you could add some more fresh vegetables to this, like some tomatoes, um, some red bell pepper, or the other bell peppers. Um, you could add a few zoodles to this if you wanted to. Um, I mean, you know, it's up to you, but the, the base of the of this is, this is like a Primavera. And when you see when I'm done here, um, you've got to see this texture. Is that amazing or what? Does that not look like fettuccine Primavera? Oh my gosh, the texture is just, this is so good. You gotta try it. And it's got that slight subtle coconut flavor. This sauce is balanced. It's uh. It doesn't have any uh, seaweed or sea vegetables in it, but it is good. That's the only, now I would add some dulse flakes to this. That would be nice. Um, I just finished off my dulse though. Right, so that's my dinner tonight. Fettuccine Alfredo made with raw butternut squash. Raw. Raw butternut squash fettuccine alfredo. You gotta try it.